is I have been working on the delayed gratification challenge. Awesome. So excited about this. Um, she says, I've noticed that I will plan to have a certain treat, an ice cream cone for 180 calories. But if I have more calories at the end of the day, I will try to add on maybe some popcorn to use up all of my calories, even if I'm not hungry and already will be satisfied with the pre-planned treat. I am trying to work on this behavior today by weighing and measuring two snacks for a total of 300 calories um, to have in the evening and allowing myself both so that I don't have that fear of missing out. Okay, good question, Eileen. Um, so what we want to think about on this is a couple things. One, you could actually do delayed gratification in a couple different ways. One, you're following the kind of protocol we have for the, the challenge. The second one is come the end of the night, if you've got leftover calories, you could say, you know, I could eat this bag of popcorn tonight. I could eat it. I've got enough calories, could totally do it. I'm not particularly hungry though. I'm feeling for, you know, pretty satisfied. So you know what I'm going to, I'm going to stick this in my container for tomorrow. I'm going to hold on to it. I know I have enough calories today. So it's almost a, a freebie snack tomorrow if I want it, but I don't have to eat it tonight. Just So the, the issue with the calories is that we think they literally have a 24 hour shelf life, right? <laughs> like if I don't use them today, I lose them. So unfortunately, I know that's how the Weight Watchers point system works, where at the end of the day, now I take it back. I think their newest program, they actually let you roll some points over for another day if you want, right? So, so what you want to think about is they don't expire. It's more important that you're hitting a average calorie amount for the for the entirety of the week. Okay. So if you're looking at wanting to hit an average of 1800 calories, you may have some days that are higher, some days that are lower, but when you add them all up, divide by seven, you're shooting for 1800. It's not as important where and when in the week those calories happen. Okay. So you want to really structure it in a way that works for you. So in that moment, you're seeing, Oh, I got calories left. It's kind of like found money, right? Oh, I got money. It doesn't mean you have to spend it in this moment. So you could put the popcorn to the side, say, I technically could have consumed it today. I'm going to put it in my container and I'm going to save it in case I need it tomorrow if I, if I choose to, but you don't have to eat it. It's totally up to you, right? You can give yourself that privilege or that permission to have it the next day. You, you saved ultimately calories from the previous day. You can roll them over, or you could look at it like this. Hey, you know what? I've got some calories left today. I'm going out to eat on Saturday with my hubby, or I'm going to see my friends over the weekend. I'm going to take this 120 calories. I'm going to, or whatever it is, I'm going to move it to Saturday. And I'm going to give myself a bigger calorie budget on that day. Cause I chose not to spend them tonight on popcorn that I didn't really want because I was already content. I had my ice cream treat. I'm feeling really good. So these are two different ways. Okay. So far that we've talked about delayed gratification. One, you could save the popcorn, have it tomorrow as like a, a kind of a freebie treat because you ultimately had the calories today, but you opted not to consume it today. You could take those calories and kind of, I like some people like to use the word banking them bank them for another bigger upcoming event. And right now is a perfect time of year for that because between Christmas parties, social get togethers, families coming into town to visit all that kind of stuff, there might be other occasions that come up through the week or every other week that you might find you need those extra calories, right? So it's kind of like rolling them over. So that's another way you can actually do delayed gratification, but on a bigger scale than just a 24 hour cycle. Okay. And then the other thing you could do is you could say, you know, I can, I can eat this popcorn. I absolutely can. Um, you know, if, if I really want to, and really this comes down to your level of scarcity with food. Um, but honestly, I would probably pick one of those other two options. I'd either save that bag of popcorn for a day. I'm truly hungry because hunger ebbs and flows. Even though we try to eat the same consistent calories, some days you might work out harder. Some days you might move more. You might be hungrier. Better to save that snack for a day you actually are going to need it or want it versus eating it on a day where you're already content and really not interested. Um, or again, saving those calories for a time that you're going to be eating out. So I hope that that helps. Um, but always, if you're struggling with scarcity around food, Better to let yourself eat the popcorn, maintain the calorie target, 
um, and, and, and remind yourself of these other options. And sooner or later, you're going to start to take them. You're already doing delayed gratification. So you're already getting familiar with this practice. Be patient and kind with yourself as you start to figure out how to incorporate this into a longer duration delayed gratification, whether you're waiting for the weekend or whether you're just waiting till tomorrow, but do baby steps. Don't feel like you have to rush into it. And I'm proud of you because one, you acknowledge I'm not really wanting it, right? I'm just struggling because I see these calories are being quote unquote wasted. Well, what if you weren't wasting them? What if you actually were putting them to really good use in a different context? And that's what we want to be thinking about.